This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From custom domains to beautiful websites using their easily customizable templates that you can have up and running in minutes, e-commerce, email and email marketing, SEO, analytics, and scheduling, Squarespace does it all and has done it for us for the last six years. If you are a small to mid-sized business in any industry, Squarespace is the place to go for all of your website needs. Hop over to www.squarespace.com slash you for a free trial. And if you like what you see and want to move forward, receive 10% off your first order by using the discount code Hugh at checkout. Thanks, Squarespace. Hey, everybody. I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant. And today will be an exceptionally short video on Fujifilm's $1,400, 389 gram body only XT50, because I think I understand precisely what it is I'm seeing. Bottom line, the XT50 is a mini me XT5, which means it has the same 40 megapixel sensor, fifth generation X processor, autofocus performance, IBIS, film simulations, retro industrial design vocabulary, unlimited recording limit in theory, most of the same video resolutions up to 6.2K, most of the same frame rates and codecs, very similar manual of arms. Unfortunately, the same arcane and in desperate need of overhaul menu system. Suboptimal port situation, no dedicated headphone jack, although you can use the USB-C to three and a half millimeter dongle. Unsuitable for day in, day out, use micro HDMI port, mm And fiddly secondary controls. But on the one hand, the X-T50 is smaller, lighter, less expensive, yet manages to throw in an integrated pop-up flash, a dedicated film simulation dial, even a well-conceived film sim activation button next to the EVF, coupled with software to make it easier to try on those film simulations in real time when using the rear panel only. While on the other hand, the X-T50 isn't weather sealed, doesn't have a second card slot, doesn't have as well spec a battery, EVF, rear screen, burst rate, buffer, doesn't offer 12-bit RAW out via HDMI, doesn't have the same build quality, feel in hand, blah -de blah 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 you get the idea. The net of it, however, remains that the X-T50 is an exceptionally powerful image-making machine, stills and video, in an exceptionally compact and compelling package, keenly priced. For something like 99% of us, 99% of the time, who are not precisely like me, nor like many of my fellow YouTubers. Which is to say, those of us who prefer a retro look and feel, are relatively unmoved by specs for specs sake, don't make a living from image making and therefore among other things don't mind a single card slot, can figure out how to set the camera the way they want to at the very beginning and then successfully avoid the menu system altogether. Less subject to personal taste is the new 16 to 50 variable aperture f2.8 to 4.8 zoom kit lens, the full frame equivalent field of view and shallowest depth of field of a 24 to 75, call it f4 to f7. It is small, light, optically superb, at least somewhat weather resistant. It offers an optionally clickless manual aperture ring, yay. And it is even without being capable of the shallowest depth of field on the basis of its physical configuration and design, an effect that is shallow depth of field anyway available to us in ever more convincing fashion via editing software in post, absolutely worthy of that 40 megapixel sensor.
This combo is also capable of excellent video quality. I mean, wowzer video quality like this. Because you knew this was coming, it is the kit you've been watching for this entire video. Shot in HQ 4K, set to Acros Film Simulation, by far my favorite sim in the Fujiverse, regular 4K 60p for the product shot. Only 1.14 crop I should add for 4K 60p in regular 4K, although I for one can barely see the difference. Both are fabulous, especially given the price, size, and weight. Just outstanding. So that's it for today. In the end, the X-T50 is, yeah, sure, a Mini-Me X-T5, but it's also a retro Mini-Me version of an X-H2, an interchangeable lens version of the X-106, a higher resolution retro if not quite as compelling for video version of the X-S20. The X-T50 is an option worthy of serious consideration for anyone really. Whether one is just getting started, wants something to grow into, wants something small, light, and unobtrusive, wants something relatively affordable, Something that reduces edit time by offering a variety of baked-in looks at the point of capture. Meh. Or just wants incredible image quality and interchangeable lens flexibility at the price, most especially for photography, simply unimaginable in a camera this small, light, and inexpensive relative to anything from the past or anything currently in the market for that matter. The X-T50 should be at or near the top of your shortlist for street, travel, everyday carry, and or general purpose photography or high quality video, irrespective of sensor format, an intriguing, if probably unbalanced choice for wildlife, sports, and birding. Even if I personally find the very concept of eliminating editing in post to be icky, and the X-T50 itself to be so small, the value of the integrated grip sufficiently marginal, that I ended up carrying the camera by the lens, which is interesting, but suboptimal. Then again, for just $300 more, you could have the X-T5, $200 more than that for the X-H2. The X-H2 being actually my favorite among this generation of Fujifilm's high-resolution APS-C cameras for its handling, full-size HDMI port, and 5.7 million dot EVF. But hey, that's just me. Your mileage may vary. And as always, that's fine. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From custom domains to beautiful websites using their easily customizable templates that you can have up and running in minutes, e-commerce, email and email marketing, SEO, analytics, and scheduling, Squarespace does it all and has done it for us for the last six years. If you are a small to mid-sized business in any industry, Squarespace is the place to go for all of your website needs. Hop over to www.squarespace.com slash you for a free trial. And if you like what you see and want to move forward, receive 10% off your first order by using the discount code Hugh at checkout. Thanks, Squarespace. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join the conversation in the comment section below because this is an exceptional audience. If you'd like help with a portfolio review, gear selection, finding or honing your artistic voice, sign up for a one-on-one -on -one mentoring video call via Zoom at 3bmep.com slash booking. Finally, please consider supporting our work by using the no cost to you affiliate links down below, sending us coffee money via PayPal, or most especially joining us on Patreon links down below as well. However you choose to support us, as always, we thank you for it.